All right, folks. So this is lesson three of the week, and we're going to be working through unit eight, lesson three. All right. So what we're talking about today is rational and irrational numbers. All right. Now, these are two different categories that all known numbers fit into. All right. So before we talk about what these are. Let's look at these words, rational and irrational, okay? So if I write out rational, okay? Rational. A rational number. Let's take a peek at this key part of rational, okay? So we've got inside the word rational, we've got the word ratio, which if anyone else remembers what a ratio is, a ratio is the same as a fraction, all right? So a ratio is a fraction, right? If we write, I don't know, one half, okay, that's one out of two. That is a ratio, okay? So we've got one half. So any number that can be written as a fraction, like one half or 0.5, is rational, okay? Any number that can be written as a fraction. So let's write that down, all right, just so you understand. Rational... means it can be written as a fraction or ratio. So the ratio of one half might look like one to two, All right? So next, let's take a look at the word irrational. All right, so irrational, ear, Okay, prefix meaning not, okay? And then ratio. So irrational means not a ratio, which means that irrational numbers, let's write this down, irrational means it cannot be written as a fraction. as a fraction. So this pretty much means any number that can't be written as a fraction. So if you were to write down pi, okay, the number pi is 3.1415, blah, 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 and it goes on forever, okay? Now there's two things about pi that make it irrational. Well, first of all, it can't be written as a fraction, but here's how we know it can't be written as a fraction. This decimal, Everything behind the, or to the right of that decimal, it goes on forever. It's infinite, okay? So it never stops, right? We've got 3.1415, and you could keep listing the numbers until the end of time, which there is no end of time. That's the point, right? Also, the numbers do not repeat, right? The numbers in the decimal do not ever repeat, Okay, that looks terrible, but you get my gist, all right? So it goes on forever, and it never repeats. Okay? So that's what you're looking for when you're looking at an irrational number. If you were to write this number as a decimal, it would go on forever, and it would never, ever repeat. So let's go through and list a few. All right, rational numbers. I know what you'd be saying if I called on you in class, but let's talk about some. So rational, we've got, let's see. Oh, my favorite, one. If you were to write one as a fraction, you'd just write one over one, right? Same as the number eight. Can be written as a ratio as eight over one. Now, I had a friend recently, I was telling about this lesson, and they were like, well, what about one third? One third as a decimal is 0 0.33 three and it re it goes on forever right but here's the thing about this is one third can be written as a fraction one third but also this decimal repeats so it's all good right it's threes going on forever there's no four in there there's no th like 82 or anything it doesn't ever change it just stays as three so this would be the same for a decimal like, I don't know, let's think, like 
8989. All right. As long as there's a repetent bar, which if you don't remember what a repetent bar is, there's that. As long as it repeats, it is rational. It can be written as a fraction. All right. And rational numbers can also be negative. So if you have the number negative 0 0.5, it's the same as negative one half. That's also a rational number, just like negative four thirds. Okay, or even negative one and two thirds. Okay, it's the same as negative eight thirds. All right, but it works. Okay, so anyway, I'm sorry, five thirds. My bad. So let's look at some irrational numbers. Okay, so we've got pi. We know that's irrational because it's 3.1415 and it goes on forever, right? It goes on forever and it does not ever repeat. There's no repetition. There's no repetent bar, okay? So it doesn't repeat and it cannot be written as a fraction, right? That's why we use this funny symbol to describe pi because we can't write it in any simpler form. Also, if you were to type in the square root of 2 into your calculator, you're going to get, well, you're going to get something interesting. You're going to get a decimal, right? You're going to get, let's say, 1.4142 dot, 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 okay? And this fraction goes on, or this decimal goes on forever. On my calculator, it goes to pretty much the millionth or hundred millionth decimal place, all right? So there's nine numbers behind that decimal, okay? But if you tried it on a different calculator, it could perhaps give you more decimals, all right? So it's kind of difficult to figure out, is it irrational or not because of that using a calculator? But I mean, safe bet is to say if it's more than six decimal places and it keeps, you know, it's gonna go on forever. All right, so these rational num irrational numbers, a lot of square root numbers, if it's not a perfect square, will end up being an irrational number. I'm trying to think like the square root of, let's say, let's try the square root of, I don't know, 32. Irrational number, right? It's a decimal, you end up getting 5.65685.4249, blah, 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 it goes on forever, okay? So that is also an irrational number, all right? So the main takeaway from this lesson, we've got all of these examples up here you can use, okay? But if the number can be written as a ratio or a fraction, it's rational. If the number cannot be written as a fraction, it's irrational, okay? Which means if you're looking at a decimal and the decimal goes on forever, and it never repeats, it is irrational, okay? Or not rational or not a ratio, okay? So the best way to remember that is to look at the word, okay? Ratio means rational. Irrational means not a ratio. Capiche? You better be saying kaposh in front of your screen right now. <laughs> anyway, um, you folks, that is all we've got today. If you have any more questions, um, look at the lesson summary in your workbooks online, or you can always email me, or you can just come to my office hours, which are on the top of my Canvas page. All right, well, have a wonderful rest of the day, and I will talk to you later. Enjoy the weekend as well. Whoop, whoop. Oh, and do not forget to do your homework quiz, all right, or your homework check. See y'all later.